Hi folks, Nate Diaz's prayers have been answered. He's finally getting his last bout with the UFC. But as they say, you should always be careful what you wish for, because he'll be facing the extremely formidable Khamzat Chemaev on the 10th of September in Las Vegas. And Khamzat has some not-so-kind words for the veteran, and that's exactly what we're here to talk about in this video. So, let's get started. First up, Khamzat Chemaev calls Nate Diaz an unranked gangster. It's very obvious why the UFC went with Khamzat for this fight. Nate's contract ends after this one, whether he loses or wins. But Khamzat is one of the rising stars, and a victory against one of the most decorated fighters in the promotion's history could actually help raise his profile even more, which is, of course, great for Dana and company. And while the promos have been trying their best to make this sound like an even match, there's a very clear favorite. Pretty much everybody believes that the Chechen is gonna run through Diablo and add another victory to his record. Even Khamzat himself doesn't see this as much of a challenge. In a recent YouTube video, the 28-year-old expressed that he doesn't need to fight Diaz at all, and that he's only doing it for fun. He pointed out that Nate has been fighting ever since Chemayev himself was a kid. He can wait for the title shot, but he took this one because the veteran is super famous and everyone loves him. He added that everyone calls Diablo a gangster, but he eats gangsters for breakfast. He also promised UFC fans that he was going to mess his opponent up. And folks, you better believe him. Up next, Diaz will have to pull off a miracle. Okay, so here's the thing. While Diaz definitely has more experience, he's just not been at his best for a while now. He has won one fight in the last five years and isn't really the threat that he used to be. Plus, he's 37, and he doesn't even have the same stamina. In our opinion, both Diaz and Khamsat could have gotten a better fight. This only makes sense from a commercial point of view. It's a mismatch in every other way. But there are some who believe that the Chechen hasn't been tested properly yet, and if Diaz can prolong the fight, he may be able to score a knockout. Obviously, this is pretty far-fetched, but stranger things have happened. Moving on, let's talk about their forms coming into the fight. Diaz's record dropped to 20-13 and 13 last June with a unanimous decision loss to Leon Edwards at UFC 263. This was the second straight loss for the legend, who has now lost three of his last four. The story for Khamsat is completely different. He has an undefeated record of 11-0, and he last prevailed against Gilbert Burns in an incredible fight last April. This victory got Boers to number three in the official welterweight rankings, and pretty much everyone agrees that he has what it takes to be the next champion. So yeah, while one's career is coming to an end, the other's is simply just taking off. Coming up, Leon Edwards is backing Nate Diaz. While the rest of the world is counting out Diaz, the current UFC welterweight champion, Edwards, is rooting for the legend. He recently scored one of the most iconic and craziest victories in MMA history last month when he somehow defeated the dominant Kumaro Usman. Edwards wasn't doing well the entire fight, and he was on course for yet another unanimous decision defeat. But then, the final minute of the bout struck, and Edwards connected a picture-perfect left high kick to Usman's face. The Nigerian nightmare was knocked out, and Rocky became just the second British UFC title holder ever. He's hoping that Nate can pull off a similar upset in his match against Kamsat. In an interview with the MMA Hour, he expressed that it would be really incredible if Nate somehow wins, and he's backing him completely. He also revealed that he would be willing to face Diablo in a fight because he's a G. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what Leon believes, it's much more likely that he's going to face off with either Kamaru or Khamsat next. And while his recent victory was almost definitely a highlight reel moment, he'll have to bring out his best to defend his titles. Because, as they say, getting to the top is easy, staying there is the difficult part. Next up, Sean Strickland believes that Khamsat doesn't even have to train for this one. Like we said, most sensible people know that there is only one way this fight can go. In an interview with the Schmo, middleweight Sean Strickland said that he doesn't even think Chemayev needs to get ready for Nate Diaz. He believes that the UFC just asked him for this fight because they knew he was going to beat up this old guy. He added that he believes that Khamsat is just going to roll in, not even train, come off the couch, and destroy his opponent. He also told a story of a recent training session at his gym, Extreme Couture. Apparently, Boers was going a bit too hard on a sparring partner, and Sean had to tell him to calm down. Sean revealed that Chemayev is like a dog with a bone, and he trains like there's a target on his back. Finally, George St. Pierre gives his opinion on the fight. If there's anyone who's qualified to give an opinion on the welterweight division, it's the UFC Hall of Famer and former two-division champion St. Pierre. He recently put his analyst hat on and said that he also believes that Chemayev will come out on top because the fight is at welterweight. He did say, though, that you can never count Nate Diaz out because he's very well-rounded and durable, and it'll take a lot to put him away. George also believes that we're going to see the best version of Khamsat yet because he only went the distance in his last fight, and he probably learned a lot from that. So yeah, folks, come September 10th, we'll find out if this fight is as straightforward as it seems. Or 
maybe, just maybe, we'll see that Nate has one last comeback left in him. And now, it's time to move on to some more related news. First up, Robert Whittaker defeats Marvin Vittori. At the most recent UFC Paris, the former UFC middleweight champion, Robert Whittaker, proved that he was one of the best fighters in the world, in a masterful three-round performance against Marvin Vittori. He overcame a slow start and eventually dominated Vittori in the second and third rounds. Vittori fought bravely as he survived many punches and kicks to the head to make it to the end. But there was no question who was the better man, and the world of MMA was in awe. Welterweight veteran referred to the performance as a masterclass, while Tom Aspinwall thought that it was a classy victory. Others also praised Vittori's toughness and were really proud of him for going the distance. Next, Paddy Pimblett weighs in as heavyweight. At the current moment, Liverpool fighter Paddy competes at lightweight, but in that division, you can weigh in at 156 pounds at maximum, which is also cut down to 155 if you're in a title fight. But it's no secret that the Brit takes time away from training and dieting after fights, and gains a lot of weight. And it has happened once again. In a recent episode of the Wild Ride podcast, he did a weigh-in on air, and guess what? He tipped the scales at 206.6 pounds. This means that Paddy was technically walking around as a heavyweight during his trip to America. While we don't doubt that he'll manage to shed this before his next fight, such drastic weight changes are not healthy at all. Many fans and fellow fighters wonder if he'll be able to maintain his athleticism if he continues this pattern. Lastly, Conor McGregor goes off at Hasbullah in a Twitter rant. While Conor may be one of the most famous and well-known fighters in the world, his conduct outside the octagon has never really been exemplary. Recently, he decided to lash out at Hasbullah on his Twitter account. We don't exactly know why he did this, but it could be either because the 19-year-old is good friends with former UFC rival Khabib Nurmagomedov, or maybe it's because Hezbollah recently named his pet chicken Conor McGregor. The Russian who suffers from growth hormone deficiency has become a super popular figure in the world of MMA and is on great terms with most fighters, but McGregor is not a fan at all. He recently tweeted that he'd love to boot the teenager over a goalpost. In another post, he said that he's going to make it his mission to score a three-pointer with Hezbollah. And he didn't stop there. He even called the teenager a little smelly inbred. He soon deleted all his tweets, but by then, the damage was done. Now, obviously, people were outraged and called out the Irishman for his immature and hateful behavior. He should not be making fun of anyone's genetics, and that's that. Plus, Connor is 34 years old at this point. Maybe it's time to grow up? And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think that Hamza Chemaev will win against Nate? Or are we due for another upset? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.